What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerf here, and I think Anti Rat said he was online to play. Yes, he was. Um, and somebody commented on one of my videos telling me to play Late Game Order. So, do I even have a Late Game Order deck? Late Game Order. I haven't played Late Game Order in a long time. And uh, it's great when um, somebody's available to play that is a uh, high, um, a very strong player, like Anti Rod. Anti Rod was actually who I beat in the uh, finals of the Minecon Open. That whole big deal happened like a year ago. And also, uh, one of my. Um, Greatest foes on the ranked ladder. Uh, this doesn't seem like a great hand against energy. Specky doesn't really help. And, yeah. This seems better. Um, I'll get rid of the early spearman. Okay, let's do this. So next turn, I don't even, I don't even know if there is a turn two play in this deck. So I guess I'm just gonna sacrifice maybe the focus, canister automaton. Well, I guess the spiky would work for him. And now we have spiky. Um, do I, do I keep the focus? Now get rid of it. Your turn, Antirad. Doom, doom, doom. Is the music too loud? That should be okay. Forge. Not what I love. Okay, I don't want to get something like something that's going to be burned. So in that case, I'm going to play the Righteous Partisan. Well, the Righteous Partisan can be burned, but I don't want to play the Royal Spoon to see it be burned. Uh, so I'll get rid of, yeah, sure, I'll get rid of the Royal Spearman. I mean, he does have that one melee unit, that might be the only melee, melee unit he has. Maybe Ironclad Reaver, though. I don't know, I haven't played this game in a long time. I haven't played Energy, I don't think. Uh, let's put him right here, I want him to just deal some damage on the Forge. Kabonk, that's pretty good. Nice cantrip. Infiltrate. Another card for stalling him. These cantrip cards are very important for me. Um, probably next turn I'm just going to play the Scholar. So I can just do Persians War the following turn and really ramp up. I just have to worry about Anti Rod um, getting out with only pumping the Forge. Yeah, just gonna pump the forge. Well, I don't have anything to kill at this turn, so may as well just prisoners of war. And do I want to keep the other prisoners of war? Probably not, because it's gonna take a while to be able to play both. So I'm gonna get rid of one. These I have to. It's gonna take three more turns of me sacrificing the three new cards, so I'll get rid of it. So, Scholar and. I'm gonna do Scholar in the back actually. See what I can get. Imperial Resources or Arbolister. Um, I'll take the. Imperial. It's pretty big print cards. Uh, yeah, and I'm actually gonna put that in front. Separate a little bit. I don't know what he's gonna do with energy. So hopefully he doesn't burn. Well, I mean, burn wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. He then he spends his whole turn removing my creature as late game order. Xcog. That is something I need to worry about. Okay. So 
tempo theft. That's something that's cool, but right now I think I want to get rid of it. Could tempo theft like a. Uh... No, I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay. So let's go for. Order. Play the prisoners. And now I can play one of these three things. I can play copper up here and really threaten this, and you have to destroy it. I can play a ragged wolf to finish off one of these things. I think the copper's the better play. He has to be able to destroy it. Or else I'm getting a nice big, big flop of damage. And I'm gonna hit two in the gun auto. And the gun auto's in Kabak range. Okay. Next turn, I could go for a double infiltrate. Um, I probably want to infiltrate Kabank, so I kill this and I could slow something down. Basically, for him to get the X, you can't get for him to get the Forge off this turn. You have to pump twice, like, and an infiltrate just would really sl slow down these um, forges. Cause I only pay three for it. Okay, so we did have a burn, so that's kind of annoying, but at least he can't really pump this turn or anything. Or he has to use it on that and he can't use it on anything else. Okay, so next turn. Kabonk Infiltrate, I think. Pretty sure that's the play. Oh, let's. I can have six. Oh, I guess I'll summon as well. No reason not to, right? What even. Do I have, what do I even have in this deck? Do I have Manganels? I don't even know. I guess so. I don't see why I saw to run summons. These decks are all very old and I haven't checked them in like a year. So I don't remember what's in them. I generally know how to play them and generally know what's in them though. So order. And uh, and now I will kabonk. Speed. Well, I'm going to say I'm going to hold on to the summons because once I play that, anti is going to start playing around Manganels and I don't want him to do that. Um, let's hit this down, and let's infiltrate this bad boy. And that doesn't mean he can pump the forge, but I'm more worried about the these guys. That the uh, I'm more worried about the scout automatons than the uh, gun automatons. Much easier for me to destroy. I'm not attacking with magic damage, so the um, the armor really can really can get to me. Okay, so I do have speeds. I could play. I I think this is gonna draw a Manganel. I'm not a hundred percent sure. That'd be pretty fun if I summons thinking I'm gonna draw a Manganel and I don't draw one. Um, but assuming that I have Manganels in this deck, I could Manganel speed next turn. And then there's always the Imperial resources uh, as another good play. So I am feeling pretty good about this game so far. I think it's going well, if you ask me. Goes after another three, what's he gonna do? do have, so I guess I'm just sacrificing the Ragged Wolf, State Machine, and that's a perfect Manganel for me. Wonderful. So let's Manganel. Man, I really hope, I really hope this, uh, this draws it. <laughs> Aha. Mwahaha. And get a speed, and I'll 
Do I even bother putting damage on a state machine? Yeah, sure, why not? Beautiful Mangano. And, yeah, you know you have a good play when you opt to do that play over Imperial Resources on round 7 for a uh, late game order. Echomaton. Uh, well, Echomaton's gonna get kind of big. Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna Imperial Resources regardless. I could summons. I'm gonna yeah. I want to keep that. What do I sacrifice here? K Dominion has Ward. Um, K is interesting. She can actually help a bit. I don't think I'm gonna play or get them. I'm more in a part of the game right now where I want to be. I don't know, like doing more attacking, maybe. Let's get rid of the K. And do we have summons this turn? Well, next turn I can go for a uh, Megan LB4 because probably summons two, and then seven, nine with the Pother or Kabon, so we can combine the things. Let's, uh. Oh, whoops, I meant to destroy that. Whatever. Messed up a little bit. Forgot I wanted to destroy the state machine. Probably regret damaging the state machine altogether because I'm not playing any creature. So, I may have lost two damage on an idol. Not a big deal with late game order. I don't think this is going to be a game on my side for me to destroy his idols before he can to me. It's more of me holding him back and I will eventually destroy his idols. Okay. So, we are definitely... Yes, we are definitely not going to... I don't think a Manganel is the play this turn. It's not like a big enough play, you know? What I, I guess I could... No, I'm gonna wait, actually gonna wait for this to like, finish. So let's go for the Infiltrate... Focus, that's... Cool. Um, I guess I'll go for Scrolls. We have a double kabonk. I'll start with the Righteous Partisan. And... I guess I should kabonk something. I'll kabonk... Yeah. Oh, Resonance Sword. That is a card that I had. Okay, we can get five. That's how you get the Mangonels to higher attack. I remember now. Okay, let's go. We'll go for a big Mangonel play next turn if we can. Because if this Mangonel survives, you don't even have to play speed with it. So we can really play Resident Sword in a lot of spells. Always get the focus on our Ace Moore and Scholar. It's looking good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make it back here, right? It's probably the play. Um, I guess I could pother this, hoping I get the one third chance it moves up. He's not in a place where I can like pother another of his creatures and get three things in a mangano. So summons. Mangonel, Resonant Sword, then I go for a Pother, come move up, nope, and then I can go for a Kabonk, so I have enough damage to kill that, and I can kill that with that guy. Wow, what a beautiful play. 
and then I'll sacrifice the focus for scrolls. I want to get my arbalist steers now. Uh, these spearmen don't really help that much, but yeah, he's kind of done. Not much uh, anti rec can do. He does have a 13 attack dude on the board, but and I have no infiltrates or anything, so maybe he'll get 13 attack in. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much the uh, death sentence from late game order when it's round 11 and they've outramped you and they have board control. I mean, I don't have super board control. My mangonels are very weak creatures and so are my units. Weak units. I said that wrong backwards. So, power trip, okay. What's going to go on here? Blast automaton. And... Automata forge. Okay, those are going to be kind of difficult to kill. Uh, we do have a pother. And... I probably want to kill the uh, Echomas on this turn, so let's paw there. We have one half paw there, or we have a 80% paw there, so I'll go here for the paw there. Yeah, it seems like the right play. Paw there. Darn. That's annoying. Well, essentially what that did. Arbalos here. Essentially what that did is um, now I can't play Imperial Resources on the same turn, which does hurt a little bit. And I wasn't going to be able to play Imperial Resources anyways. Because I'm playing, yeah, I'm playing Prisoners of War now. And I'm going to play Ragged Wolf to finish that off. And I'll go for more order, I guess. If I kill those... I guess I'm in a bit of a flutter surge, but it's okay. My units are not that valuable. Killing a 19 attack Ekumazan. Yes, you can have your energy, anti red It never got an attack off. Like, those Ekumazans are good against Lady Mortar because they have so many spells. But you can't really expect... You can expect them to gain you energy, but you can't really expect them to actually get a big attack. Because the late game order is going to be able to stop your units more often than not. State machine. Um, so we have Arbaluster speed. We actually have no other spell with it though. So, can't do that. Um, Arbaluster speed. Well, I can speed this. If I speed that, I don't know, deal some damage. <laughs> Wouldn't deal a lot of damage, actually, just a bit. Um, let's go ahead, and we can't sacrifice our cards. Yeah, so I can't even... I can't even do an Arbaluster uh, speed and sacrifice for cards. So I'm just going to do Imperial Resources... Okay, we have a tempo theft arbalist here for next turn. And I will just speed here. Just so I can kill that. Um one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, right. These wouldn't really do anything, so I will just speed this. Too bad I don't didn't have a resonant helm. It's on that thing, you know, so I'll do damage there. I guess that works for me. Only put one damage on that big guy, but whatever. We're looking good. He, all my idols are at 10 health. I'm around 13, it's late game order. Being on top of your the resources and uh, even like holding his board down um, as a late game order probably feels like 
the most on top of a game you can. Like every turn, <laughs> I feel like he's just like his units are just at my disposal. Uh, well, that's gonna clear my board. Oh, well, because my board. But now it's time to kill his dudes. Okay, we have a summons with a speed that could be cool. Let's get rid of the Ducal Spearman. I guess. So is it Arbalester time? Arbalester. It's gonna have five attacks. So yeah, I can kill that. So Arbalester. Tempo theft. Yeah. Wait, do I even have the spells to do it? Because this is only this two countdown. So that would get him to. Two counts down, right? I think I can do it. So I just want to just kill this. We have another Arbalest here in hand. Arbalester. Tempo. And then I'll just summon, I guess. And get rid of the spearman. And play a righteous partisan. Sure, that kills that, and we're looking good. Next turn, I can Arvalisteer speed, but I'd need a couple more. I just I need one more spell. Imperial resources too expensive. If there's no good Arvalisteer play, I could just. Imperial resources plus an ace more and scholar and just build myself up again. At this point for answer out, I probably would have surrendered. I don't really know how he's gonna be able to come back from this. Pollution resistance can actually help. Um so it doesn't look like there's a great R list your play this turn. I think it's gonna be more of an imperial resources turn. So imperial and then a, I guess a scholar. Um, let's start with the imperial. But it doesn't heal units anymore, I forgot. Uh, get rid of the Dougal dude. I guess I'll play Don't want to play the Arbalest here this turn or that, like a sudden thing. Tempo theft for sure. And I'll get rid of the other Dougal for, I guess, resources. It's our only option. Um. Nothing really to attempt up theft. I could speed, but it has potion resistance, so who cares? Your turn. So we have a Manganel Speed Resonance Sword, so I can basically destroy a group of units with ease because we have so many resources, our Manganel can get to a huge attack, so we don't have to worry about any health values. The potion resistance is the one thing that uh, I'm not going to be able to deal with until it's gone. I'm not going to even bother trying to hit that five times before it goes down. I'll just wait until the potion resistance goes away. I think I'll be able to deal with the uh, scout automatons being bursted out. Cannon. Okay, so it looks like this is a good spot for a Manganel. Manganel uh, speed. Arbluster. Manganel speed with a uh, resonance sword, I think. Because Arvalester is not going to really break through here. So. Manganel. Resonance Sword. Speed. And, oh, I need one more. Uh, whoops. Let's get rid of Let's go for cars. See if we can draw a spell. We get another Resonance Sword. Um, I guess a Kabonk is fine. And then I'll just do, I do five damage there. No, I'm gonna hit it on the idle. And what do we want? 
not, we'll take a, another Imperial Resources. Just keep him at bay. That's good. He's gonna surrender. GGWP. Well, that was a fun victory where I felt in control. Um, and that'll do it for today's video because it was a, I guess it was a lengthier match because I was playing a late game deck. Um, thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe for more cold scrolls content content until the end of time for scrolls. And uh, check out Duelist. So I'll see you next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollers.